on the last episode of Dragon Ball Sparking Zero. We met the most annoying universe, apparently emperor of all that it, uh, is known in existence, child known as Zeno. And I will state, even though it's really early in the session, I f***ing hate him with every fiber of my being. He's almost as bad as uh, Wappa from another series, but eh, if you haven't seen that series, don't worry about it. Just know that I just hate these characters because they're overly childish and don't belong here. Uh. Oh, I didn't even realize in the background, you can kind of see the, uh, the original timeline and all the divergence paths that I've taken. Oh, it really just kind of circles around in and on itself. That's kind of cool. But not only did we uh, meet the most annoying child in existence in the last session, we got to finally start the uh, the Super Series. Or I guess you can call it Super Saga. Well, no, because they usually count sagas with like their own individual stories. So, you know, like the Cell Saga, the Frieza Saga, the... Uh, the Boo Saga, which are all within the Dragon Ball Z timeline. So Super is its own timeline. And we just did the uh, Battle of the Gods leading into the Black Saga. So now... Uh, let's see, I kind of want to go back a little bit. I think it's specifically Sudden Visitor, because I want to uh, reread and rewatch some of the cutscenes, only because I ended up accidentally skipping them. I want to know what they say. So, uh, God of Destruction, yeah, that's when we... What was that one? Defeat Frieza, yeah, okay. And then Sudden Visitor is Trunks. SOS from Trunks. And Black's True Identity. I believe it's Sudden Visitor that we need to recap on. Here goes. We'll skip enough of it. Because we just want to get to the part where Trunks shows up. Super Dragon Balls, yada yada. Okay, so here's where Trunks shows up shortly after this. We want to do the part where they're about to start fighting. We're about to Sorry, gauge his strength. Sorry, I swung at you without any warning, Goku. Nah, you were just rattled. Don't. Would you believe me if I said he called himself Goku? What? Me? I think we can skip that. Because he wants to gauge strengths. In order to understand the strengths of his doppelganger imposter, Goku fights with Trunks to see how powerful he really is. Yeah, this is what we want. The two of them go elsewhere to begin their sparring. However, an unexpected visitor so joins them. <laughs> Jumping to Super Saiyan 2 right off the bat, huh? Sounds good to me. All right. I'm just letting it autoplay at this point because I don't want to tap a button and somehow skip. I figured this out after you left. I call it Super Saiyan 3. That's incredible. I wouldn't expect anything less from you. In that case, I'll show you my strongest move. All right. Attack me with everything you've got. It's so weird. When you just let it autoplay, there's moments where there's just really long pauses of nothing. But then there's just random short bits where they uh oh now I they skip see. through perfectly no fine. Wonder I couldn't find you. All right, so that's I think all that we needed to to really deal with. Oh hey, how you doing? <laughs> yeah, we're not gonna fight you. We've already fought you. There's no divergence to to fighting him faster or better. All right, which means we can go into the Future Trunks arc, a.k.a. the Blacks Saga. Uh, so we got several divergences. 
This is going to be crazy to figure out, Here but okay. Goes. Yeah, frick you, tiny child. Bye bye, Goku. Who can apparently erase all time in existence. It's proof of Goku and Zeno's blossoming friendship. Zeno gets. Okay, we did the button thing. Right. Uh, three visitors then board the ship machine and head for the world of the future. Yeah, we did that. Go on, Goku. Rejoice. You yeah. know, I don't know what you're rambling on about. Okay, influenced by Goku. Goku Black falls into Super Saiyan Rose. Yep. Father! Despite Super Saiyan Blue Vegeta wielding God Key, he still falls at Super Saiyan Rose Black's paws. Okay, so this is where we uh, can, can properly continue. Oh, Frick! <laughs> Bro, he just immediately decided he wanted to murder me. Your kid is incapable of understanding the grandeur of my success and the glory of my cause. It's like staring into the sun. Can you see the vast beauty of my Hate everything you stand for, my dude. For he got... Bro, he has instant transmission. I hate that. Ooh. No hard feelings. Huh. Bam! Goodbye. I just want you to get away from me. Like, seriously. Kyle can. Ow. I didn't think he'd have a proper Kamehameha. Oh, you idiot. <laughs> you dumb, stupid. Okay. Yeah? You wanna go, bro? Okay. Athel. Woo! I will not. Bruh, he... Bruh. He freaking fast. Uh, uh, what? How did... I don't know what happened there, but okay. I somehow deflected his blast even though I wasn't actually properly trying to deflect it. Bruh. Bro, I killed him. <laughs> That's enough. Oh no! Samasu! I thought you were decent, but you're scheming with black! Oh. That somehow managed to do damage to me. Okay. So uh I didn't know that we would have to deal with Samasu. Or I guess technically it would be the uh, the other Zamasu. Because, ugh. No, nope, you're not going to do that again. Your mind is too small. Your mind is incapable of understanding the grandeur of my success and the glory of my cause. It's like staring into the sun. Perfect dodge. The vast yeah. beauty of my being overwhelmed you. How about no? Getting sick of your nonsense. Ha! I gotta do a whole extra bar of damage. When, uh, he does the extra push to knock him back. That's... He did instant transmission. Ah, perfect dodge. Get it. <laughs> gotcha. Just as you were darting. Cause you're stupid. I've been keeping this one. No hard feelings. Ah, oh, he teleported. What a douche. No hard feelings. How about you teleport again? Oh, he did. <laughs> How about you teleport a third time? Oh, I broke his stamina. 
Which means you actually super dead now. No hard feelings. Oh, come on me. Really? No, hit him. I don't want to use my ultimate on him. I just want him dead. With a super. Couple of him. Got him. That's enough. Samasu. I thought you were decent, but you're scheming with black. Scheming? Such a negative word. We are more like comrades on a righteous crusade. Not perfect dodge. I can barely feel it right through. Game. Bye. Although he should be immortal, so that really shouldn't be doing anything to him. If anything, his health bar should not be going down at all. No. Well, countered. I can barely feel a thing. Pow! <laughs> I countered your counter. What you gonna do about it? Other than be a big baby. Alright. I don't know why it took me so long to reset after a simple Kamehameha. Oh, he dodged. Of course he dodged. Dodging is the best technique. Um, wait, what? Soon the world I've been dreaming of for so long will be made manifest. A truly just and perfect utopian Ow. existence. Mortals are unnecessary. And more than that, unwelcome paradise. Hate to burst your bubble, but there's no way I'm letting you two get what you want. Well, Goku. Oh, I. No. How about you don't? Final. I can final flash. And you take damage. May my strength be a shield for all of no. Mortals. Stop trying to power up. I hate everything you stand for. Stop it! <laughs> it's not happening. <laughs> I'm not allowing you to power up. <laughs> How disappointing you ungrateful and barbaric creatures are. The gods gave you minds capable of true wisdom, yet you wasted on self-interest and war. Yes. But I mean, you know, that's just something that we have to learn to deal with and get over at the same time. It's not really up to the gods to interfere with that, more or less. How can you talk about the values of mortals after everything you've done to my world? Final Flash! You think you got him? What? I mean, it can't be! Of course not. He's immortal. I've taken godhood to a new level. Divinity made perfect with a body that befits a Kai, one that is invincible. I can already tell I'm going to be sleeping soundly tonight. This is your end. A Saiyan? Who's there? That's a good question. Who fired that shot? Vegeta uses the last of his strength to rescue Goku and the others. Ah, it was Vegeta all along. They were able to return to their own world. Supreme Kai comes to Goku and the others with the message that Zamasu was looking for Goku, as well as the Super Dragon Balls. Upon hearing that, we speculate that the Zamasu of the future will create Goku Black with the Super Dragon Balls and make himself immortal. It will be a year until the Super Dragon Balls can be used again. Could Zamasu use a Supreme Kai's time ring to solve such a problem? I mean, that's basically a rhetorical question. It's a time ring. 
meant to manipulate time. Of course he can. Zamsu is only an apprentice and does not possess a time ring. However, he may steal one from the Supreme Kai. If that is his plan, then the life of the Supreme Kai is at risk. Beerus and the others immediately head to Universe 10. When they arrive, they find Zamsu just as he is about to murder the Supreme Kai. Using his power of Hakai, Beerus wipes Zamsu from existence. It seems we've returned to a future where there is no black. Okay. Beerus informs them that a god killing another god will inevitably result in a change in the space-time continuum. Yeah, and? Trusting his word, they travel to the future to see what difference they have made. My world didn't change. I knew it. Beerus couldn't fix this. Not even the act of a god made a difference. And now they face Samasu and Goku Black once more. We know the truth! All the terrible things you've done! We know you used the Super Dragon Balls to get your power! You think I'm a copy? Oh, you're wrong. This is Goku's actual body, down to the last battle scar. The perfect war machine. I took the time ring and found the Super Dragon Balls. Then, with my first wish to the dragon, I switched bodies with you, Goku. Okay, so if you're telling us you're Zamasu, then who's this guy who actually looks like him? From your world's perspective, I'm the Zamasu from this world. And I work for justice with the Zamasu from the past. You haven't worked it out yet, Goku? I'm none other than the Kai once called Zamasu. The god defeated by a mere mortal. You. But how can that be? I saw Beerus destroy you. He said you'd be gone. Old Beerus clearly doesn't understand the full beauty of this time ring. Wearing it protects me. Not even what a god did in the past can affect me. Thanks to the time ring, I could empower my new ally without waiting at all. We collected the Super Dragon Balls in the future and wished again. You are willing to kill your Supreme Kai just to get that ring? Yes. Then we had to make sure no one would undo our accomplishments later. So we found the Super Dragon Balls once more and shattered them. Bruh, that's kind of messed up actually. Why would you break them? You could easily use them to your own advantage if you can gather them that easily. After that, we had to keep the other gods from interfering here. I used your strength to kill every other Kai in this multiverse. Although, now that I think about it, there's actually more than one set of Super Dragon Balls. Because they're supposed to be a set per two universes, and I think there's like 12 universes. So, there's one set between Universe 1 and 2, there's one set between 3 and 4, and then, you know, it goes on and on and on like that. He's from Universe 10, which means between 10 and 9... There's one set. But that doesn't break the other sets of, you know, the 11th and 12th and the 8th and 7th that are basically right next to them. They can still get their own Super Dragon Balls if they knew of what was happening and wish all this nonsense away. But they just don't. That means in this timeline, there are no more gods who can stop us. We have all the power. The two of us alone! This destruction was unfortunate, but necessary to achieve our virtuous goal. The Zero Mortal Plan. But I mean, what are you going to do after that? Yeah, they want to make the... Mortals are a foolish and ugly mistake that stain the majesty of the cosmos. They just want the worlds to be for the gods, but creatures, we can there are no other gods to admire creation. the worlds. We've already cleansed a great number of planets of their repulsive mortal blight. So there's basically no point to this. They're just killing people for the sake of killing them. The kind is worst of all. How many times have conflicts nearly destroyed this planet and threatened to spread across the universe? 
Because you are the ugliest, we are sentencing you to the heaviest punishment. A despair and terror that befits your wicked crimes. And none of you will escape it. This is it, Saiyans. For the sake of our most glorious project, you will die today. Yeah, sorry about that. I just had to reconfigure a bunch of stuff, and I was hoping, because they talk a lot, you know, because it's Amasu, that I was able to go do my stuff without uh, interruptions. Or, you know, with them continuing to talk and not have to worry. Ow. Ah, nice try. You idiot. Stop. Go away. Bruh. This should be planted sufficient. Kinda tried him. Take this. No. Now right, you want to animate? Let's animate. I've been keeping this one a secret. No hard feelings. I thought for sure you would have asked by now, Goku. Aren't you concerned about your family? My family? Ah, okay? double counter. I can barely feel a thing. Ba oh. Oh. Wait, what? Uh, uh. Oh, no. I've actually broken the game. <laughs> oh, what happened? Apparently, a cutscene was supposed to happen, and, uh, hmm. I was doing a counter of his counter, and that apparently interrupted the cutscene. Which now means... Can I? I cannot. I can just charge indefinitely now, can I? Yeah. Okay. Well, um. Yikes. <laughs> Retry. <laughs> I did not expect that. I didn't think a counter to his counter would actually end up. Rah, get out of here. I oh, frick. <laughs> Literally repeated the exact same. Stop. Get out of here, you're freaking garbage. Yeah, I didn't think a counter to his counter would interrupt a cutscene. Oh. Hey, don't slap me. Alright. Let's block. This should be planted sufficient. Ah, oh, what the how did I, I not dodge that? Sure you would have asked by now, Aren't you concerned about Grab him. My family. Ah, there's the cussing. Where does one begin such a gripping tale? After I collected the super dragon balls and switched bodies with you, I went to Earth to check to make sure we had really switched. And there I found you. You were shocked to find yourself in my body. And your family was terrified. Did you? Ah, watch my mouth, me. And go, Ten! Oh, surely you can guess that much, Goku. You monster! You pay for that! You took my body! You took my life! 
And then you even killed Chi-Chi and Goten? Thank you, Goku. Your anger feels simply incredible. You face my blade. I don't know about that. I just decided to use my ultimate move. Goodbye. All right. Yeah, proficiency in Vegeta, even though Vegeta was not here. I wonder if that's actually part of a divergence if I swap out with Vegeta. Goku and the others have been no match for Goku Black and Zamasu and are nursing serious injuries. Thanks to Trunks' help in buying them time, they're able to return in the time machine. Just how are these two to be defeated? Goku and his friends are backed into a corner, but Piccolo has the idea that Master Roshi may be able to help. After learning the evil containment wave, Goku receives a jar from Master Roshi and goes straight to where Trunks and the others are. But he forgets to bring the sticker. Immediately, he returns to Black and Zamasu, who destroy the time machine right before it his very eyes. There will be no more retreating. Now you're trapped here. So this world will be the last you ever see. For a god, you're surprisingly confused. This isn't going to be our final resting place. It's going to be yours. We were even going to bring you a casket, but we couldn't find one small enough. Our master Goasu and the other Kais were foolish enough to believe mortals could be entrusted with intellect. So, Kakarot, where are you keeping that jar? Oh, crap! It was still in the time machine when they blew it up! Dang it. Why you gotta watch your mouth for something so stupid like that? How can you be that stupid? Seriously. Fine. What's done is done. I'd rather win with our fist than some magic trick anyway. <laughs> I was just thinking the same thing. All right. You better keep your focus on me! Mortals do not tell gods what to do! I don't know why you didn't block that, but okay. That just makes you a dumb. I won't lose. Wait, what just happened? Why was he just there? Oh, dang it. He's just kind of standing there. Menacingly. I am not alone. I could use an extra hand, yes. I mean, nice try. No, no. I'm not done yet. Break through. All right. Time for you to die now. Of course, being immortal, that kind of makes it a little hard, but yeah, we're going to make it happen. Kablam. This is just the start. By channeling my divine rage into power, I have forged a new instrument with which to destroy you. I don't know what he was trying there, but okay. A reminder into your mortal flesh of the strength of my divine wrath. Did he literally just tank that? Just as we foresaw. Fighting this formidable Saiyan blight has carried us both to new heights. This proves our transformative power. Our destiny is Got to cast judgment upon all creation. Of course they would swap. <laughs> What's the matter? Perfect dodge. Don't be afraid. I thought you Saiyans love fighting the strongest. Ha! Goku! Trunks, you okay? He's weak. Trunks must have done something. Oh, Fred. <laughs> How did you disgrace yourself against those mortals? We were barely separated. What went wrong? It seems many Ow. assumptions. I wasn't expecting that. You were badly mistaken. Bruh, every single time. We are much more than just insignificant. 
If we're not careful, our dream of utopia is going to be ruined before it's even begun. Bro, he is fixed. Because these insolent mortals continue to defy and profane us. We will reveal to them the ultimate power of the gods. It's time to show them divine perfection made whole. No! Stop him! Yeah! Stop him from fusing! Kablam! Oh, that didn't work. Lowly mortals. Got him. Ain't no way you blocking this. Point blank. Heal before our radiance. Kablamo. Kyle can. I've been keeping this one a secret. This game is over. You shall Oh no, they're gonna fuse. Justice together! Thus begins a new world. No hard feelings! Show your rage! Touched! And bow down before Whoop. our splendor! Worship! Give praise unto me! Me, the oh. beautiful! I tried to deflect that, but then I realized that was not gonna work. Bro, his charge looks sick! <laughs> Hearken unto me! In the brightly glowing sun in the sky, which illuminates Come on, this clash world. with me. And also I know you want to. Oh, he blocked it. Is justice. I, the god Zamasu, am the universal wisdom, the universal law, and yes, uh -oh. the universal power. Uh, well, that happened. I wonder if I can beat black fast enough that we can actually make the divergence there. May my strength be a shield for this world and for all of us mortals. I'm putting all of our hope into this one blast. Gallic gun! Come on, Trunks. Give it all you've got. Right. Had enough of you impudent mortals! Away with you! Samasu! Get ready, cause I'm knocking your lights out for good! I shall smite the heart of the wicked! Face my divine wrath! Ah! We're gonna have a second standoff? Oh. I want a second standoff though. Blasphemous fool! You continue to defy a god! With Gallic Gun and Goku's Kamehameha, Vegeta and the others think they have won. Gallic Kamehameha? But then, the few Zamasu's body starts to change. Half of this combined Zamasu came from Black. It seems the part of his body that's vulnerable to attacks is affecting the part that isn't. It will need an even greater power to destroy Zamasu now. Goku tells Vegeta his idea. Okay, Vegeta. It's time. We're gonna fuse. Just like them. Don't, you can't be serious, clown. There's no way I'm going to do that again. I don't like this any more than you do, Vegeta. But if we still need a major boost in power to break down his body, then this is the best chance we've got. Come on. You gotta admit I'm right about this. Good luck, you two. Thank you. It's now or never, Vegeta. There's something I've always wondered. When we fused last time, the Kai said it was permanent. But we split apart anyway. Do you know why? The truth is, it's only permanent if a Supreme Kai is involved. Otherwise, it only lasts an hour. So just a one-hour battle, then we're back to ourselves. Cut it out! If you say one more word, then the answer's no! Oh. One hour, but that's it! 
Yeah, you know, watch your mouth, PJ. Also, really? One hour? Come on. They fight in five minute battles that literally take 10 episodes to get over with. So one hour is going to take forever for them. He can shut his mouth. They should have plenty of time to take down Zamasu. All right, here we go. Vegeta, I need your help just one more time. So I swore I'd never merge bodies with you again. Here we go. All right. <laughs> Who are you? You two doubled up, so we did the same. You know, just to play fair. We're a merge fighter, the combination of Vegeta and Kakarot. Vegito. And here's something new. Vegito Blue. Ooh. Get ready for this. Whoop. Oh, I thought I was doing my super. You may be more powerful. Oh, he teleported. You're still not a god. Okay. What do you say we wrap this up? Here I am. I, what? Huh? Oh, I'm sorry. Is this hurting you? Perfect dodge. <laughs> you aren't a purely invincible god anymore. And you can never get the number of mortals down to zero now. You see, now that you've merged, you've taken in something that's always going to be a part of you for as long as you live. Take this! Goku's mortal and destructible body. You think that's a revelation? That Goku's body will always be part of me? Of course he will. Such was my desire. You are mortal, Saiyan. Yet you've gained divine power. You're stronger than most deities now. Oh. Saiyans are the Woo. ultimate symbol of the failure of the Kais. By taking Goku's flesh into my being, I have assumed both sins of mortal kind and the failure of divinity, so they may never be repeated. Got an answer for everything, huh? No, no. Not bad. He's that seriously getting sick of your nonsense. Just die already. There you go. My gosh. It hasn't been an hour yet. Oh. Uh, did I do the divergence? Uh oh. <laughs> Well, we'll find out. I mean, I, I don't think it really matters. Splitting apart, things are looking pretty dire for Goku and Vegeta. However, all is not lost, as Trunks soon comes to their rescue. Oh yeah, that's right. Their uh, the Batara fusion actually didn't last an hour, and they it's split. It's not about gods and mortals. You don't believe in anything but yourself, and we won't let you win. I can feel it. Keep it coming, guys. Share your power with me. Gathering the key of all the surviving mortals and pouring it into a sword, Trunks uses his blade to fell Zamasu. However, just as everyone thinks Zamasu is gone once and for all, he shrouds the earth in his incorporeal form. Incorporeal form. All of humanity is lost, apart from our heroes. Is there really no way to stop the scourge of Zamasu? The situation is desperate, but Goku has an idea. Supreme Kai, tell me, do you think the Zeno of this timeline is still around? Yes, there's no question. Of course he would be. No one can defeat Grand Zeno. It's impossible. Hearing those words, Goku pulls out the button given to him by Grand Zeno 
that would summon him to no, uh, no matter where he is and presses it. With that, Grand Zeno appears in Trunks' world, and Goku uh, proposes that Zeno erase Zamasu from existence. All of existence! Go away! However, Zeno is less than impressed by the depressing world he has been summoned to, and opts to destroy the entire planet instead. Goku and the others dash to the time machine and make a narrow escape. Trunks and his friends have lost their home, but they learn from Whis that they may be able to return to that same world before it was erased. With Whis's help, they seal away the Zamasu of that world. Bidding farewell to Goku and the others, Trunks sets off on the next adventure in his new world. Alright. The Black Saga is done for. So we got a super outfit, uh, Trunks' super outfit, and a whole lot of monies. Alright, so what were the divergence paths? Because there is definitely a lot of them. Uh, what the frick? So, where are they? Keep it going. Alright. So, unable to defeat in the lap time. Okay, so if we defeat uh, Black, then we'll get the Divergence there. It looks like it's just a single Divergence, so it's not going to be anything special. Unable to defeat in the lap time. Okay, so yeah, we have to defeat them. Just straight defeat them. We'll try that. Here it goes! Come on, let me get rid of him. Getting sick of your nonsense. No hard feelings. Tagged you twice. I won't lose. Of course, the building blocked. Come on. I won't lose. I thought for sure you would have asked by now, Goku. Aren't you concerned about your family? My family? Yeah. Where does one begin such a gripping tale? After I collected the Super Dragon Balls and switched bodies with you, I went to Earth to check to make sure we had really switched. And there I found you. You were shocked to find yourself in my body, and your family was terrified. Damn you! What about Chi-Chi? And Goten! Oh, sure, you can guess that much, Goku. Monster! You pay for that! You took my body! You took my life! And then you even killed Chi-Chi and Goten! Come on. You could regret telling me that, Zamasu! Now I'm mad! Now I'm really, really mad! And now it's time to pay! Here we go! Break through the limit! Come on, if I can just hit him with this, we're done. It's game. Yes. Please what? tell me. That's impossible. Yes. How, how could this happen? I just had to do a whole lot of screaming. And also uh, concentrating. Right. He is just way too fast. That is ridiculous. Also, I tried swapping in with Vegeta and... They wouldn't let me stay as Vegeta for very long. Also, apparently Vegeta has weird moves now. Goku has defeated Goku Black. This is for Chi Chi and Goten! Despite it happening in another world, Goku is consumed by rage. With only Zamasu remaining, Goku stands to face him with every ounce of his strength he possesses. However, he is unable to figure out a way to defeat his immortal opponent. It doesn't take long before Goku has exhausted all his energy. I mean, oh, 
that's just how it ends. It's just, oh, well, he's just immortal. He's just there. I mean, he still has quite a bit of power, all things considered. So now we have to deal with the, uh, the other double team that they do. Better keep your focus on me! Mortals do not tell God what to do! No hard feelings! Alright. I won't lose! This was just the start. Channeling my divine rage into power, I have forged a new instrument with which to destroy you. I won't lose! This sight will carve a reminder into your mortal flesh of the strength of my divine wrath! <laughs> just as we foresaw, fighting this formidable Saiyan blight has carried us both to new heights. This proves our transformative power. Our destiny is to cast judgment upon all creation. Mike, you hold it. <laughs> What's the matter, mortals? Relax. Don't be afraid. I thought you Saiyans loved fighting the strongest. I don't lose. Trunks must have done something. <sighs> How did you disgrace yourself against those mortals? We were barely separated. What went wrong? Ka me ka me. It seems many of our assumptions about the mortal. You pathetic, lowly mortals. Kneel before our radiance. This game is over. God, come on. You shall kneel before our radiance. We're going to get our ultimate. We're going to dart him and we're going to make sure that he just Trust does not have together. the ability to do any damage. Begins a new going all out. Show your reverence and bow down before our splendor. Worship. Give praise unto me, me the beautiful, the sublime, me the invincible, the almighty and divine. All hail, Somerset. Okay, I got that thing. Wah. The issue that we're having here is that we need to beat him, like, insanely fast. There we go. go Just go, keep hitting him with that. Right? Yeah, we're a little banged up. But I think we're okay, at least for now. After fusing, he now possesses indestructibility and Saiyan strength. How can you surpass that? By using a lot of ultimates. <laughs> because uh, I'm not letting him have another chance to stop me. Who knows? But no matter what, I will make him pay me. Got him! Finally. Ah, oh, my gosh. <laughs> my gosh, like... I basically figured out that, uh... It wasn't just Fuse Zamasu that I had to be insanely fast. I had to be, uh, both the regular Zamasu and Black. 
very fast because if you bring them down to a specific amount of health, they tap out. But I had to make sure that they tapped out quickly so that way they can go into the fused form and then we can just beat it down with ultimates. That is a, a very annoying strategy, but it is a manageable and, you know, legitimate, I guess you can say, nonetheless. Goku and his friends, bitter struggle comes to an end. They have defeated the few Samasu. Bulma rushes to where Goku, Vegeta, and Trunks wait, exhausted. Finally, they have done it. At long last, the future of Trunks and his friends is finally a peaceful one. All that just for a, a non-cutscene cutscene. My gosh, that is insane. Why would they make you go through so much? So now what are we doing? Universe survival arc? Ah, that's the tournament of power. Oh. That's actually getting close to the end of the uh of the series. Well at least anime wise. The manga continues afterwards, but uh so Goku Oh, I just realized we have well I mean I kinda figured there would be multiple character arcs, but or character stories. Yeah, but we're almost done with Goku's. I think after Goku's, I'm not really sure who I want to deal with first. Um, no, I guess you say second. Let's see, we have Vegeta. Gohan. Mm, Daddy too. Future Trunks. Uh, that's Super Future Trunks rather than regular Future Trunks. Frieza. Goku Black. Is that it? It's just them? Goku, Vegeta, Gohan, Piccolo, Trunks, Frieza, and Goku Black. There's not any more? I mean, maybe we'll be able to unlock more afterwards, but I don't know. That. Why specifically Frieza and Black? Why couldn't it be, you know, Cell... Majin Buu. Majin Buu has a lot of time on screen. Or, you know, they could have just made up something for Jiren, for that matter. Or the androids. Maybe even Android 17 specifically, because he's the one who just kind of, you know, splits off and does his own thing when it comes to preserving the planet. Which is strange, because he's an android. Yeah, whatever. Yeah. <sighs> Doesn't matter. I think at that point, that'll be the end of today's session. Thank you all for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Yo, Stay safe. Take care. And we'll see you in the next episode of Dragon Ball Sparking Zero.